What's up guys, we're here in Giro Custer and in this video we're going to show you the best things to do here. It's a really beautiful city and it's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site with a lot of history, so we hope you enjoy this video. Giro Castor is located on a hillside in the south of Albania, overlooking a stunning river valley. It's known for its ancient history, Ottoman-style architecture, and imposing castle, which is one of the biggest in the Balkans. From the first moment that you set foot in its cobbled streets, you'll be enchanted by this place. And while many people choose to visit Giro Castor as a day trip, we highly recommend staying at least a few days here if you can. This UNESCO World Heritage Town has a diverse mix of things to do, so let's dive in. We are Zach and Ina. We make helpful videos about destinations around the world so you can easily plan your own adventures. The Old Bazaar is the most picturesque area in Girocaster, and strolling around it is an experience in itself. There are many souvenir shops, traditional cafes, restaurants, and some beautiful Ottoman era houses you'll quickly understand why Giro Castor is considered one of the most beautiful places in all of Albania. So bring your camera and spend some time taking in the atmosphere. Dominating the town, the castle is the most visited tourist attraction in Giro Castor for a good reason. While it's still unclear when this fortification was actually built, there's no doubt that it witnessed the turbulent history of the region across centuries. Inside the castle, you can see the clock tower, an artillery gallery, and a US Air Force plane that made an emergency landing in Albania during the Cold War. The castle's museum is also a must-do when inside. It displays archaeological objects alongside an explanation of the history of Girocaster and the region. And to top it off, the castle walls offer superb views of the valley and town below. After visiting the castle, you should head to Zacate House, a traditional Ottoman era house that dates back to the early 1800s. It's a typical tower house, belonging to the wealthiest families of the 19th century Girocaster. The Zacate is a three-story house and has gorgeous interiors and rooms, which can all be accessed. To really understand the history and what the rooms are used for, we recommend going on a guided tour here. We booked a tour that covered both the Zacate house as well as the old bazaar and the castle. You can find a link for the tour in the description below. So there's two traditional houses you can visit here in Girocaster, but we recommend visiting this one because at the main guest floor at the top, it's really beautiful and you can actually take pictures and videos there. Girocaster has its own produce and unique culinary traditions. The town's signature dish includes baked rice balls, and you can find it in almost every restaurant in the city. We tried them ourselves at Odaha restaurant, together with some other delicacies. Other places that we liked were Taverna Kuka and The Barrels. The Barrels is located among idyllic vineyards, not far from Girocaster. Both the food and the wine are made with products from the farm here. Another great thing to do in Girocaster is to hike to Ali Pasha's bridge, which is set in a narrow gorge right outside of town. It's actually not a bridge, even though it's commonly referred to that way. It's a small portion of an aqueduct that used to channel water to Girocaster's castle cistern from the mountain springs at the beginning of the 19th century. It takes about 45 minutes of uphill walking to reach the aqueduct from the castle. But if you have a rental car, it might be easier to drive the first part, which is a mostly paved road. But 
When traveling around Albania, you'll discover many bunkers that were built during the Cold War. Girocaster has its own version of a bunker, which sits underneath the castle. The Cold War Tunnel was a secret 800 meter long tunnel bunker that has been transformed into a small museum. A guide at the entrance will take you through the assembly rooms, which were built in fear of a nuclear attack. They were never actually used, and today it serves as a reminder of former communist times in Albania. Given Girocaster's hilly character, it's no wonder that there are many beautiful viewpoints to enjoy. Our favorite one was from the obelisk monument in the heart of the old town. From here, you can oversee the entire town, castle, and valley. The best moment to come here is right before sunset, when the sun starts to descend behind the hill, lighting up the valley in the distance. Take your Albania travel planning to the next level with our interactive travel planner. Find a discount code below. We also included important links that you'll need for your Geocaster trip in the description, such as an interactive map to get to each spot that we mentioned. We'll catch you on the next adventure.